Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. Today I'm going to be making a delicious sausage and bacon casserole, Tex-Mex style. You can have it for breakfast, you can have it any time of the day, and it's always delicious. I think you're going to love it. Let's get started. So I've got all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using some red bell pepper, some Dijon mustard, garlic that's finely minced, jalapeno with seeds, green bell pepper, finely diced onions, eggs, half and half, whole milk, good bacon, finely shredded fresh Colby Jack cheese, and some good sausage. I'm also going to be using some French bread. Now, I will be giving you the exact amounts up here on the screen, so you'll know exactly how much of everything that I'm going to be using. Let's get started. So I'm going to start out by frying my bacon until it just starts to get crispy. My bacon is just starting to get crispy, so at this time I'm going to take it out. Okay, now that I have removed all the bacon and I've got it here on some paper napkins, I'm going to go ahead and remove all that grease out of my cast iron skillet. So now that I have removed all the bacon grease out of my cast iron skillet, I'm going to put in my sausage. And I'll be browning this until it's a nice golden brown, about five minutes. So while I'm browning my sausage on the stove, I'm going to go ahead and tear up my bread. I'm going to spray it with some of this uh, baking spray, just like that. And I'm going to tear up my bread like this. Now this is a perfect casserole dish to fix, you know, because I like to fix it about once a month. And I usually make it like the night before when my Ron goes off golfing because he gets up a lot earlier than I do and and it's always ready for him so he can have his breakfast and you know this just freezes up so well in the freezer you let it cool and then you cut it up and then you wrap it up really good and then you put it in the freezer and it is just so perfect the day after all you have to do is warm it up in the microwave and it you think you had just made it it is so good and perfect like that and he usually just gets one out and warms it up in the microwave and off he goes. And I don't have to worry about, you know, getting up to make him breakfast. And also, you know, it's fantastic for working parents, you know. You can fix this up the night before or on weekends when you like to sleep in. You know, you can fix it the night before, put it in the refrigerator, and then the next morning you just put it into the oven. And it's perfect and ready to go. So now that I've got my bread all cut up right here in my baking dish. I'm just going to set it aside and get back to my sausage. So now that my sausage, it's lost all its pink color like that, I'm going to go ahead and add my onions. I'm also going to add my jalapeño. my green peppers and my red bell peppers and bring it all in together like this just until my onions are a little clear I've given my onions and peppers about three or four minutes. Now I'm going to put my garlic in.
Now you can leave the garlic out. If your family doesn't like garlic or they don't like the peppers, you can either add what you like or remove what you don't like. And my Ron loves garlic and red and green peppers in this casserole, so that's why I put it in there. So it's been a minute. My garlic is ready. I'm going to bring it all in together like this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat because my sausage is ready. So I've got my ingredients that I'm going to be using ready here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my sausage into my casserole dish like this and I'll let them fall in in there like that just let them fall in and I'm gonna go ahead and add my bacon like that and now I'm gonna get started on my milk mixture so I'll just set this aside and I've got my eggs right here and I'm gonna whisk my eggs really well just like this Now that I've beaten my eggs, and you don't want to overbeat your eggs, we just want to beat them well. I'm going to go ahead and add my milk, my half and half, and I've got my Dijon mustard, so I'm going to go ahead and add it in there. I'm going to put in half of my cheese, like that. Put in some pepper. You can use as much pepper as you want. My Ron likes a lot of pepper in here. Now I'm not going to put that much salt in there because the cheese is a little salty, but I will put just a little bit like that. But that's up to you. You can put as much as you want. Now I'll just bring it in all in together like this. Just like that and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into my casserole dish very careful just want to spread it out now it'll go down a little bit because of the milk mixture so it should be just perfect like that and then I like to push it down just a little bit like this and make sure that it all looks just right You want to push it down really good like this because you want to make sure that all your bread is wet. And that looks perfect. Now I'm going to get my other half of the cheese and I'm going to cover it up. Now I'm using the Kobe Jack because I love the Kobe Jack. But you can use any kind of cheese that you like. I like to spread my cheese out like that. All the last of it right there. Then I left a few pieces of bacon. I like to just stick them in there just like that. See, you can use as much as you want. I just, I like the bacon on top with 
with a cheese. And you know, this is a whole meal in one because it's got your bread, it's got your cheese, it's got the eggs, it's got, you know, your vegetables, whatever it is that you put in there. And it's just so perfect, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it up and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Now, if you can fix this at night and put it in your refrigerator, you can put it in there overnight and then in the morning all you do is pop it into your oven and it you don't have to worry about getting into the kitchen you can sleep in or you can go and sit down and do your makeup or whatever it is that you're going to do so i'm going to go ahead and put it into the refrigerator for 30 minutes and at the halfway point or so i'll go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 degrees so I just got my casserole dish out of the refrigerator. I'm going to go ahead and remove the saran wrap from the top. And I'm going to cover it up with a piece of aluminum foil. And I like to make like a little rooftop so that the foil doesn't stick to the cheese. Okay, so just like this. My oven is set at 350 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there for 40 minutes. So my timer just went off. It's been 40 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and get my casserole out of the oven. Now I'm just gonna remove the aluminum foil. Ooh, look at how beautiful that is. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into the oven for 15 minutes so that the top can get just a little golden and toasted. So my timer just went off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my oven and get our casserole out. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Ooh. As you can see, it's boiling very hot. I'm going to go ahead and let it sit here for about 15 minutes before I cut into it. So my casserole is ready and I think I'm going to cut into it now. Ron likes a nice big piece. And so do I. So now for the taste test. Mmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. The sausage and the cheese with the onions and the bacon. Mmm. Oh my goodness, this is delicious. So if you like my sausage and bacon casserole, Tex-Mex style, Give me a thumbs up, send me a comment, tell me what you think, share with your friends, and please subscribe if you haven't yet. Mm -hmm.